Hi guys, Squirrel here, and this is the first video I've done on World of Warships. World of Warships was something I played when it was uh, in the beta period. I had a press account for it, so I messed about with a lot of stuff. But I didn't actually make any videos. I streamed it a couple of times, but I didn't actually make any videos. And it's been released. It released about a week ago. I thought I'd make a, uh, a first video, show you guys. I don't know if you've heard of it. You may have heard of it. You may have not. But it's a free-to-play game. Uh, it's by the same people that make World of Tanks, Wargaming, and World of um, Planes. This is World of Warships, and that's what it is. It's all about ships. Now, at the moment, the tech tree consists of Japanese and US and, as you can see, a couple of Russian. But also, Germany's coming soon with the Kriegsmarine. But essentially, at the moment, it's all about USA and Japan. Now, the, the ships go all the way from Tier 1 down to Tier 10. And they're organized by aircraft carrier, which is the left side here, battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. And then also sort of premium ships that you can buy only if you splash the cash, as it were. Everything else in this tree can be earned just by uh, playing the game and getting XP uh, credits, if you like, and, and XP up here. And just like World of Tanks, you know, you can grind your way through this. You, you improve your ship, you unlock things, uh, which leads you to the next tier and so on. Uh, you can decide which kind of ships you want to play. They're all, they all play very differently. The aircraft carrier uh, carries airplanes and aircraft, and you kind of sit in the map view with the aircraft carrier, and you send in torpedoes and bomb ships and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the battleship is the one with the big guns. It's the only ship that can heal itself. Uh, it has very powerful guns, but they take a long time to reload, and it doesn't turn very well, but it's heavily armored, has a lot of health. Uh, the cruiser's kind of your mid thing. It's it's quite nimble. It has some fast-firing guns, medium kind of armor. It's a bit like your middle-tier tank in World of Tanks. And then you've got the destroyer, which is basically the thing that goes in and drops torpedoes on everybody and is highly maneuverable. Uh, this thing is a danger. If you get hit by torpedoes, you're going to have a very bad day. Uh, so that's the kind of overview of the ships. And I'm just going to start off by having a quick game with the St. Louis, which is this thing. The St. Louis is a Tier 3 cruiser. On the American side, you can see so far I've unlocked Tier 1s, 2, and 3. I've got enough stuff to go to Tier 4, but I've fully unlocked everything on the Tier 3 St. Louis. And I thought I'd jump into a game and just show you, you know, just some gameplay to get you introduced to the game and, and see what you think. Oh dear. Tier 3 up against Tier 4 and Tier 5s. Tier 5 aircraft carriers, that's not too bad. Although this guy, Tier 5 battleship, is not a good thing. Couple of Wyoming's tier four battleships. Arkansas. Dear me. I'm gonna have to try and stay out of trouble and pick people off. Uh, I'm gonna try and stick with some of our Wyoming's, I think. Let's have a look where they are. Action stations. Okay, aircraft carry back here, a couple of battleships there, a couple here. Um all right, I think I'm going to stick with these guys. If I, I'm guessing they're going to move forward. I'm going to head with this. If I stay behind these two and try and get some shots in, that's probably my best bet. Uh, I'm going to switch to AP rather than HE because I think we're going to see... I'm going to be shooting again a lot of high-tier battleships or cruisers and stuff, so I think I'm going to need to be able to pen them. Uh, I don't think HE is going to cut it. So yeah, I think the trick is to stay with these guys and keep behind them. And try and at least do some damage. And hopefully they won't pick on me. They'll be going for the battleships and that will work for me quite nicely. This Phoenix is a lot faster than I am. If he goes in there on his own, if he's like, if he goes on point here, he's going to get wrecked. I think slow and steady is the, the the main thing here, just because of the just the way it's structured. If you look at that, I am the lowest tier here. There's only another tier three in the whole match, so I'm at a significant disadvantage. Anyway, I shall try and do what I can. If I can stay back and stay broadside, I can get all of these guns. And this thing has a considerable number of guns. You can see the bottom left down there. Uh, in the yellow, if I so if I go broadside like that, then it lights up all of those guns. Uh, but if I if I'm shooting like at an angle like this, then I only get the frontal section of guns, which aim forward. So, but obviously if you're broadside, then you're more vulnerable. So, it's a balancing act as ever. What's this guy doing? Now he's staying quite far back. This this guy here, he's going in there. 
Looking at the layout of this thing, I reckon I could position about, no, actually maybe about here. Maybe I can get some shots in there. Let's have a look. At the moment, I don't have any a better range. 13Ks. It's a bit too far. Uh, I think I'm going to head inwards a little bit. Get some shots, and there's a couple of cruisers there, which I could hopefully do some damage on. The main thing is not the fact that I can do damage. The main thing is uh, if they point their guns at me, I'm going to get wrecked pretty quickly. That's the main issue. That's what I'm trying to avoid. And the way I'm going to avoid it is by staying behind teammates so they shoot them first, basically. <laughs> which sounds ridiculous, but when you're the underdog with a tier 3, what, do you, what else are you going to do? I can just be cannon fodder for somebody. No thanks. See, they're pretty much out of range of my guns. I'm going to turn in a little bit. I don't think that battleship's going to last too long if he stays there because he's got so much pointing right at him. Okay, I could have a shot at these guys here. He's just about in range. I think I'm a little bit late. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, just a touch late. This guy... just over him. Do you see that? To turn left a little bit. I think he actually turned away. Smart move. There we go. Enemy cruiser destroyed. That wrecked him. That completely wrecked him. There's a DD over here. These guys are nightmares. They're going to be torps coming in. Um, there's no point shooting them. I'd have, to, I'd have to switch to HE for a start. HE is like the high explosive fire generator. But you've got to be aware that if you see him, there's almost certainly torpedoes coming down here right now. Uh, he is a good target for me, if I just aim a little bit forward there. Oh, he's moved away. Look, oh, just about get some shots. There we go. Decent damage. Maybe I can get him over the top of that. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't think I got the killing blow, but I think he got killed. Okay, that DD's coming around. Um, I am going to switch to HE now. I'm going to try and take that guy out. He represents a significant threat. You can see his torps are in the water. He's going for the battleship. Uh, if, oh, he's turning around. Don't think I'm going to get there on time. Oh, dang it, smart guy. So look at the battleship. The battleship is nearly wrecked now. So I need to stay with this battleship uh, because he's pretty much done. Yeah, he's done. So I'm going to hang around with this guy. I'm going to stay at three-quarter speed. Need to be very, very careful about that destroyer. He's probably going to come out of here and drop tops. That's what I would do if I was him. Uh, so I'm going to just slow down a little bit more. And I'm not going to go in. If I go in there on my own, I'll get wrecked. So I need to basically wait for to see what the battleship's doing, I think. You can see bottom right there are aircraft carriers. Um, are just down here. You can see them on the map there. Aircraft carriers are safe at the moment. We've got a little bit of a battle going on here. Uh, a lot of the enemy ships are over there. There he is. There's the DD. You see that? That was him probably chucking in torps now. So I'm going to go full speed. He's either dropped some torps to come in at me, or he's going to swing over there and go for him. Either way, if I change speed or angle, then I should hopefully miss the torps. Aha, hello. Just out of range, though. Back to HE. We need to worry about the destroyer. This guy here. Right. Not sure where he's going. But I'm just going to slow and turn around a little bit. He's, he's heading back that way. I'm not sure what his game plan is. Maybe he's going to go for a shot on this guy. Okay, I think they were possibly destined at that destroyer. I'm not sure. Let's 
go back to AP because I think this battleship is going to take him on. So you know what? Oh, he's just out of range. I think he's moved away. He's at the edge of the map, but I think he's kind of moved away a little bit. I think what I need to do is... Actually, where's, where's my battleship going? Is he going left or right of this island? I don't want to go... Oh, he's going right, he's going right, okay. What I'm thinking is, if the battleship's engaging him, I'll engage this destroyer here and try and, you know, protect the battleship in that way. There's a lot going down right now. He's actually out of range. My uh, my St. Louis actually has anti-air on it as well. So does the... Hopefully the battleship does if he's upgraded it. So if that... Air, if those aircraft come anywhere near us, then they're going to get anti air so that's good. You know, we've got anti-air support. But the main thing here is going to be torpedo dodging. And just about keep up with the battleship. Now, in terms of where they're anti-air... Whether um, their aircraft carrier, they've got one here, which he's probably up there. You can see all those aircraft flying around. He's probably top left. There's a torps coming in. And I think that's why there's, you know, there's some protection on the way over. But if we can get near that thing, we can just HE it. And if we HE the aircraft carrier, then it'll set it on fire, sets the deck on fire, and he can't launch anything until he puts the fire out, which basically disables him. Uh, it renders him pretty useless, and then the next thing is to just take him down. Right now... Right now, we're actually winning this battle, which is um, slightly unexpected. I, I've got a feeling wherever he is, he's gone now. Here we go. Here's, here's the aircraft coming in. So he's dropping the torps on the battleship. He's not in range for me to get the anti-air on, so you know, there's nothing I can do about that. If I click him, it'll target him. Oh, he took a couple. I think that caught him by surprise. Switching to AP because that is a enemy cruiser. Sorry, a battleship, and I need to get the Wyoming. I need to make sure A he's going for this battleship and B I can get all of my guns on him. He's swinging around. Okay. He's just out of range. Let's be careful here. I don't want to become the target. Okay, he's turning. See if we can get any hits out of that. Oh, I'm just short. I think maybe he slowed down. My battleship's wrecked. If that hits, he's pretty much done for, I think. Not enough of them hit. I think he's on a slight turn. You can see how many guns I've got. Just listen to that barrage. It's insane. He's dead. Okay, so my battleship... The battleship is the only one that has a heal. Uh, I think he just healed himself. So now I'm going to... There's the aircraft carrier, which is still out of range. Um, but notice this guy. Torpedo guy. So I'm going to target him. There's a battleship and a... Yeah, the Wyoming battleship and the aircraft carrier are the only things that's left. So I'm going to full speed towards that now. This guy is just out of range of me. Uh, also, I can get inside the cap zone as well. So there's two ways to win, obviously. Eliminate the enemy and get in the cap zone. Uh, if I can be in the cap zone while I'm hitting things, then all the better. Battleship's staying a little bit sort of wide um, which means I don't want to get too close to that guy on my own I kind of hope the battleship would come in with me but he's, he's been a little bit chicken if you look at what's left on our team um, two aircraft carriers and the battleships and the cruiser and the destroyer the destroyer's over here, this battleship's a bit low on health so I think he's staying away for that reason now if I can hit this guy He's nearly done for. Oh, man. 
and how did he not die? Okay, he's done. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. So just the battleship left. Um, you know, he, sh he should be heading over right now. We've got to finish this guy off because, you know, we're capping out, but we're still on 864 at top there, 867 now. Uh, this guy's got the potential to wreck me. Um, okay, let's see if I can get a shot on that. We are on AP, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, just short. So I need to close the distance a little bit. Our destroyer's being very careful. He needs to lay some torps down and get in there. That's what he needs to do. Ah, oh, he's just managing to stay out of range, this guy. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to go straight for him. I think we're going to cap this out before, before we kill him. He's actually going to fly out of range. I think he's deliberately doing this. <clears throat> what he's doing is either he's an idiot and he's flying off... The, he's... Yeah, I think he might just be an idiot, actually. So now he's pretty vulnerable. He's tried to leave the area. If you notice. Which, basically, it's like getting stuck in quicksand. Uh, which is really bad for him. Yeah, he's using the border. <laughs> Somebody's not happy in chat. But it kind of sticks into it, which makes him extremely vulnerable. This is the thing about the cruiser, is it can launch a barrage very quickly. You see, he's just not having a good day anymore. <laughs> he can't turn because he's stuck. For him, this is like constant, you know, destruction. Even though I'm so, so much of a lower tier, I can do it so often. Look at that. We destroyed an enemy battleship. I destroyed an enemy battleship! Woo! <laughs> Gets excited. There you go, two destructions, 48 target hits, which is really good. Received quite a lot of money and XP for that. Um, but the main thing is we won, and more importantly, I stayed alive. Which for a tier 3 in this battle was pretty good. And that was literally down to the way I played that. That worked out really well. But our team did a good job on it. AP shell hits 12,255 damage. That's pretty good. So yeah, get a lot of XP. Nice quick match. That was the St. Louis. That is a tier 3. If you look on the tech tree. It's uh, one of the American cruisers. That's the American cruiser here. Tier 3. And uh, yeah, that was my kind of first... First quick luck video, if you like, of uh, World of Warships. Free to play, of course, and uh, quite an enjoyable game. Obviously, it's going to get a bit grindy towards the higher, higher tiers up here. It's going to get very, very grindy. But I think most of the fun, a bit like World of Tanks, most of the fun generally happens around tier 5. Uh, as you get in the higher tiers, everything becomes quite expensive. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty good fun. Once you get to around tier 3, 4, it becomes pretty, pretty fun. Because everybody kind of knows what they're doing at that point. Um, well, hopefully. And uh, it's just more enjoyable. That's it. If you want to see more uh, World of Warships, please uh, leave a like and a comment. Let me know. Until then, take care. Happy sailing.